Let's just start off with testimonies. So do any of you guys have a testimony to share? I do have one. I have one also. All right. You can go first, Anna. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, I have a friend um, that her entire life she's been wishing to have kind of like a small land to build a little house. And ever since I know her, she's been telling me the same thing over and over. And we prayed for that once, and we declared in the prayer, that was a few years ago, that she will get the land of her dreams, and she will be able to build whatever she wanted to build. And finally, about two, three weeks ago, she just bought one, a beautiful land, the land of her dream, um, with a view to the ocean, and with a little sort of like a cave, and she's so happy about it. And the best thing of this is, is the way of the, is the testimony. Because when we pray, I pray to God along with her that doors will open for her in order to get this land, that God will put the right people on her way. Um, obviously, when we pray, she didn't have money to purchase anything. And I think she didn't have a job. Uh, she probably had a part-time job, but um, in order for her, you know, to think, to buy a land, she will have to have a better job. But when we pray, she was in that situation. She had a part-time job, but we believe and we, we declare that she will have the land. And I remember saying that doors will open for her with the right people. And that's exactly how everything was. Uh, because right now, um, even though she has a full-time job, she, you know, she doesn't get paid as much. But God put somebody on her way. He put a friend that told her about this land. And this friend had another friend that owned the land. And the owner, um, I guess the owner was able to trust uh, the friend of my friend, in order to sell the land to her. And, you know, she, he gave her, like, very, um, a, a very nice way to make the payments monthly, a very comfortable way, and now she has the land. So she, God put this friend that told her about the land. God put the owner of the land on her way to, and, and everything was exactly how she wanted it. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah. since you're so because successful in praying for free houses and new lands and new houses for people, <laughs> I want you to pray for me to have a piece of land and a nice house in a wildernessy environment in a non-communist country. Okay, right. I will pray for that. All right, thank you very much. Imagine, I always have this type of testimony. I was the one who said it the other day. I didn't realize that until she said it a few days ago, and I, I'm like, that's right. I, I always pray for people to get, you know, their homes or, or the land, and I don't even have one, you know, my, you know myself. So, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no. You don't have one? I don't even have my own. No, no. I will, though. I will. And God knows it from a long time. I will have my own. Let me, let me refresh your memory here. You should always remember... Go to the testimony page. Let's see. There, here's your testimony right here. Free house in the name of Jesus. So if you need to refresh yourself and remember that you're gifted in this area, come and look at this testimony. And, and before you pray for my new house and land in a non-communist country, you can go read this one and just get re-inspired again. Okay? Okay, I will. I will. Thank you for reminding me that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Marlene, you have a testimony. Yes, I have another testimony. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, this is for the lady that we prayed in the church having problems with her period. Um, she was having constantly problems with, with her period uh, for long, long days. So she was having these medicines or treatments. So then suddenly she told me that she will uh, stop taking the pills. And Bobby and I had this conversation. I didn't tell her to do it 
because I want her I wanted her to have the a power in the faith by her own to say I'm gonna stop taking pills. So a week ago in October 15 she did stop taking those medicines believing that God did the miracle for her and then um, a couple of days later she did send me a message telling me you know I'm totally fine my period didn't come and normally when I used to stop taking the pills it will appear one or two days later so thank you Jesus because we believe that she is totally healed and we are seeing that amen and how many years did she have that something like 11 years or how long was it I don't remember Bobby as of now but I know it was quite a long time yeah it was quite a long time and in fact when we prayed for her um, she said she kind of spoke against it a little bit and she said, well, I know it's going to take a, a long time and it'll, it'll slowly come. I'm like, don't say that. <laughs> and that was on, yes. that was on day one. And then on the second day we had teaching, one of the things that we taught about was today is the day of salvation. You know, yes. that's what the new Testament says. That's what Paul said. Um, now is the time of salvation. And when, um, when I said that, and when we talked about it, then you could, her eyes just open up and she kind of like, um, made a little motion towards us, you know, while we're up there preaching. So she got it. And so then she laid hold of it, I believe, at that moment. Um, not the first time we prayed, but when we taught about that little section of Scripture, n now is the time of salvation, she got it. And so she flipped her switch from having her faith way out in the future to having it now. And and here she is. She's healed. So thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, do, you Amen. Want, do you want to talk about this one also, Vanessa? Uh, Vanessa, yes, sorry, I totally forgot. Yes, uh, this is uh, another amazing testimony. We did pray for my pastor Vanessa. Um, she didn't give us uh, she didn't give us a lot of details, but she, she told us I'm having some um, medical checks and I'm awaiting for the uh, results. So Bobby and I were praying in agreement for her. Um, in the same week that Bobby was here, it was a, on a Saturday, and then um, a few days later, she sent me a message telling me, please share also this with Bobby, because this is a testimony. Um, the test that I was having was because the doctor um, imagined that I had something different in my breast, and they sent me a second test, and everything was perfectly fine in the name of Jesus. So, another miracle from God. Amen. Amen. And, and that's, and so this is an interesting one because we didn't know what we were praying for. We just knew it's something, but we didn't know what. So we had no information. Exactly. And so we just had to pray ambiguously. But, you know, Jesus paid for our healing. Jesus didn't get super specific when he was praying for things. Um, and ideally, we can have faith just to pray generally for somebody to be healed and they be healed. And so this was an example of that. And the other thing about it is, it also it's a testimony why just because we get a lab report that gives bad news, don't just immediately believe it. You know, you can get the report and then you want to pray against it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So you want to condemn that, right? You want to cast it down. You want to condemn it and pray about it. And then that's what happened in this case, even though we didn't know what her test was, um, but it but it worked, you know, and she was delivered from whatever they thought they saw the first time. She was delivered upon the second assessment. So thank you, Jesus. I want to give an opposite example. So in in the case of Vanessa, we, we had really no information at all and we were successful. Um, and then I mentioned this one, I think a week or two ago, there was a lady that I've been working with that had severe back pain, crippling back pain and injury and surgeries. Um, and it was so bad to the point that she couldn't do anything at all, literally nothing, like stuck in bed, had to have help to go to the bathroom to do anything, couldn't stand up, sit down, just totally just bedridden in a laying position. So it was terrible. And we had prayed many times with no success. But then in her case, you know, after she got a an MRI done or x-ray, whatever it was, uh, after we had a picture to look at, we could see 
exactly what was wrong. And there was a disc that was protruding and it was poking the spine. And, and that's what was causing that excruciating pain and causing the pain to radiate all the way down from that point, all the way down you know, into her legs and everything. So then once we saw that picture, we knew exactly what to pray for. So we pinpointed our faith and it's been extremely successful. And she's just sent me another update yesterday. She's continuing to progress well. She can stand, she can walk, she can do things for longer periods of time. Um, so, uh, so anyway, so that's, I'm very happy about that. Okay. Uh, who else has the testimony? I just wanted to share, I have to put this on my heart. I mean, we were talking about faith, faith, everything boils down to faith. But I think sometimes we think that we have to muster up this faith. Yes. Yes. Our, de our faith does deepen, but it's faith in, in Jesus. It's faith in God, not faith in ourselves. And sometimes I have to separate that, and it just makes it very, very clear. Do I have faith in the God, the creator of the, this world? Faith in the God that sent his son to die for me? Yeah, it, it really does make it easy, um, easier to put things in perspective. And we were talking earlier when people were sharing the testimonies, um, praying. We can pray specifically for things, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think the more we broaden our faith um, in terms of, when Jesus, if you look at all the healings, Jesus never really specifically prayed for specific things. He would pray freedom or be healed. And I think, um, again, there's nothing wrong in praying specifically. Sometimes you want to pray specific for specific things um, after you've prayed generally. But I think the more we can broaden our faith to to believe that when we pray freedom in Jesus' name, it covers everything. When we pray be healed, if our intention in our heart and it, everything comes down to intention, right? If our intention is that covers everything, then it's amazing what can happen. And I'll just share this testimony. I've seen personally, um, there are times when I've prayed not specifically for things um, and not with trying to muster up this faith, but just I believe in what he said, and I'm just going to do it just very um, I don't know how to distinguish the difference between you being stirred up with compassion because I'm going to pray for this person as opposed to feeling like I got to get pumped up to pray. We don't have to get pumped up to pray for people. Um, this guy had, he was a, uh, he worked at the racetrack and he would warm up horses. And basically, he was warming up this horse and there was another horse beside him. And the other horse, the hoof of the other horse, hit his shin and broke his both bones clean off that his the bottom part of his feet were just hanging by his skin so they had to put uh, steel and whatever whatever but he was in a lot of pain after so I met him at a friend's house one day and we're talking um, I had never met him before so we're just talking and just I just asked him if I could pray and I just went down and I just said be healed in Jesus name and I just carried on and he's like what did you just do he says I feel this fire in my leg and I'm, I I really didn't uh, didn't say, okay, I'm going to pray for you, and this is, and must have, but it was just be healed in Jesus' name, and that was it. And he got healed, and that's one one uh, example of that. But I just wanted to share that with you, that sometimes we have to take ourselves out of the picture and just remember it's not us. We're just the vehicle. So thank you for allowing me to share that. Amen. That is awesome. And I agree 100%. So the more that we're able to pray generally, then that's a greater degree of faith than having to get super specific. 